Well, I don't know. That motor used to run perfect. Now I come over here to run it and I pump the bowl, I choke it, I start it. It runs for about 30 seconds and dies. I can't figure that out why it won't stay running. Huh, I've had this trouble before. You know what? Let me pump that bulb again, see if the bulb is hard. Oh no, that bulb was soft. That means that the carburetor emptied and it's not refilling. Bad fuel pump. Let's try something. Sure enough, if I keep pumping the bulb, it stays running. The minute I quit pumping the bulb, it dies. This motor's got a bad fuel pump. <laughs> That's the sign of a bad fuel pump. If you can fill that carburetor by pumping the bulb and start it up and it runs good and it dies, and you reach down, the bulb is soft. That means that the fuel pump hadn't refilled the carburetor, pump the bulb. If you pump the bulb and it keeps running, bad fuel pump, change the fuel pump and it'll work. I'm gonna try that. All right, I've changed the fuel pump. Now let's uh, we'll pump the bulb until it get, the bulb gets hard, carburetor's full. I'm gonna choke it and start it. Okay, I've run it for five minutes, so that fixed it. So, moral of the story is, if your motor won't stay running, but you can pump the bulb and keep it running, your fuel pump is not refilling the carburetor, change your fuel pump. <laughs> so, T-Mike fixed it. Yes, T-Mike made it run, and you can too. Keep it going. This is a request from a customer who said his motor runs for about 30 seconds and wanted to know how to test the fuel pump. This is how you test your fuel pump. So keep the requests coming in. I'll keep making the videos. See y'all next time. So as I'm standing here with David and Tom, I did two motors for David, his father's motors. You know how much I love doing legacy motors. Well, I was uh, reminded that my motto of doing it one motor at a time is not always true because in this case, I did it two motors at a time. <laughs>